Edexcel A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 2, Summer 2018, Question 6. We are given that f of x equals minus 3x cubed plus 8x squared minus 9x plus 10. And first of all, we want to calculate f of 2. So to do this, we simply substitute 2 into the equation, which gives us minus 3 times 2 cubed plus 8 times 2 squared minus 9 times 2 plus 10, which gives us minus 24 plus 32 minus 18 plus 10, which come together to equal 0. For part 2, we want to write f of x as a product of two algebraic factors. Well, if f of 2 equals 0, this means that x minus 2 must be a factor of f of x. So we'll be able to write it in the form x minus 2 times a quadratic. So to find this quadratic, we need to divide f of x by x minus 2 using some long division. So to start with, how many x's go into minus 3x cubed? Well, that's minus 3x squared. And if we were to times x minus 2 by the minus 3x squared, we'd get minus 3x cubed plus 6x squared. Take that away from our original f of x. Gives us 2x squared minus 9x plus 10. Now we're going to repeat the process. So how many x's go into 2x squared? That's 2x. Timesing 3 by x minus 2 gives us 2x squared minus 4x. Taking that away leaves us with minus 5x plus 10. Again, how many x's go into minus 5x? That's minus 5. Timesing this 3 by x minus 2 gives us minus 5x plus 10. Hence, there's nothing further to do. So, f of x can be rewritten as x minus 2 times minus 3x squared plus 2x minus 5. So using the answer that we've just found, we're going to prove that there are exactly two real solutions to the equation minus 3y to the power of 6 plus 8y to the power of 4 minus 9y squared plus 10 equals 0. So here's our answer to the previous question. As our new equation is of the same form as f of x, only we've replaced x with y squared, we can put that in the same format. So y squared minus 2 times minus 3y to the 4 plus 2y squared minus 5. Now to find solutions to this equation, we need to set the two brackets equal to 0. So if y squared minus 2 was equal to 0, that would give exactly two solutions y equals plus or minus root 2. Or we could set the second bracket equal to 0. Now as this is a quadratic uh, of y squared, we can use the discriminant of our quadratic formula, b squared minus 4ac. And putting the coefficients into that, we get 2 squared minus 4 times negative 3 times negative 5, which is 4 minus 60, which is negative 56. So this is smaller than zero, hence there aren't any real solutions to this. So the only two solutions for our entire equation are the plus or minus root two that we've just found. We now want to deduce the number of real solutions for theta between seven pi and 10 pi for the equation three tan cubed theta minus eight tan squared theta plus 9 tan theta minus 10 equals 0. So comparing this to f of x, we can see it's the same form. The only differences are that x is now equal to tan theta, and everything has been multiplied through by negative 1. But as it's still equal to 0, that means we're still going to have the same solutions. So f of x has a solution of x equals 2. So this is going to have a solution at tan theta equals 2. As we showed in the second part, with the discriminant being lower than 0, the bracket minus 3x squared plus 2x minus 5 doesn't have any solutions, hence there are also no further solutions for this equation. Now for tan theta equals 2, with a range of theta that's 3 pi in size, from 7 pi to 10 pi, there are only going to be 3 solutions.
If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.